In the aftermath of Australia's participation in Eurovision 2015, we're all wondering who the next country to join the contest will be, and recently a politician in Kosovo suggested that it will be Kosovo. <laughs> Petrit Salimi, I think that's how you say it, he's at Petrit on Twitter, said, quote, just so we are clear, I actually know Kosovo will participate in next year's Eurovision, hashtag ESC 2016 event. I can't tell you how yet, though. Wink, wink. Now, Porig, you reported on this extensively. Have the EBU responded to this rumor? Yeah, they have. And basically, they haven't been very positive they've denied it basically there was fans on twitter asking them oh what's the story and then the ebu came back and they tweeted at a fan saying currently kosovo has neither an active nor associate ebu member and therefore cannot take part in at your vision so um it seems like they're saying no but whether that no is definitive and kosovo can never take part we don't know they made an exception before for the young dancers competition that's not as important obviously as your vision um, but then the EBU, like ever since they let in Australia, they had this rule book that you had to be always an EBU member and that there could only ever be 26 countries in the final. They ripped up both of those rules this year. So then you'd wonder how serious they are about maintaining all these rules. And I think there is an interest to see Kosovo take stage. Now, would you guys welcome Kosovo into the contest? I mean, obviously, a nation like Serbia, people have suggested Serbia would withdraw because um, they would not support Kosovo as an independent state. Um, what do you make of it? Mm, yeah, I would like Kosovo to join. Um, I also I uh, always like it when there are small countries and they are searching for the perfect singer in their country, searching for the perfect number and send it to the whole world. I mean, uh, San Marino, for example, before Eurovision, I've never heard of San Marino. It was like, oh, is that also existing? Oh, where is it? In Africa or something? No, in Europe, really. It was like that. Um, so I really like it when there are small countries that are um, doing their best and showing what they can do and um, also when they have a big success. I really like that and also for Kosovo, um, it's, it's not like really, really tiny but like uh, Montenegro. It's like they they want to give their best and I just really like it when they put some effort in it even though it's small. Yeah, well, like people are saying that Serbia would probably withdraw because they still maintain that Kosovo is part of their territory. But then you'd wonder then, would their national pride let them that they're this big country and they're just going to um, withdraw because a little principality that they claim to have control over decides it's going to enter too. And like, are they going to stand down and let Kosovo kind of walk in ahead of them? Like, I don't think so because then you see that there's political enemies like Armenia and Azerbaijan absolutely despise each other, and yet they still manage to share the Eurovision stage. So I wouldn't be so sure to say that a Kosovan debut would automatically rule out Serbia. And we should point out that Serbia and Kosovo are both participating in the upcoming European Games in Baku, Azerbaijan, that Kosovo has been granted Olympic status and will compete in Rio de Janeiro for the first time as an independent you know, state, and Serbia will also be at the Olympics. Like, it's as you say, you want to slay your rival. You don't walk away from the competition. Sammy. Uh, yeah, well, I understand why give you, uh, like, allowed Australia in, even they are not part of GBU, but I, I think Kosovo should first get to GBU and then take part in Eurovision. Um, I don't, like Borg said, I don't believe that Serbia would uh, go away from Eurovision just now when they just came back and like have some success. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't mind Kosovo being in if they, like, they have to have the same rules as, as any other country in Europe. And you know what? Kosovo would pave the way for Rita Ora to sing at Eurovision. She is Kosovar. It would pave the way for, uh, what's her name, Rona Nishalu to return. She is Kosovar. Um, final point before we go. Looking at the EBU's tweets on both Kosovo and China, which Porg has already discussed to some extent, they're choosing very specific language. You know, in their tweet about Kosovo, they say, currently... Kosovo has neither an active nor associate EBU member and therefore cannot take part. With China, they say, 
no plans for China to take part right now. I mean, yes, right now as of June 3rd or June 4th, <laughs> but that's not to say on June 6th or June 7th, we can change your mind. I really feel like reading those tweets, to me, it's confirmation that they do have these plans in the works. I mean, we have interviews with... Um, I forget his title with Siet Sabakar, who says, you know, we're always interested in finding new ways to make Eurovision more interesting, special guest acts, etc. To me, it all suggests this is on the table in the works. Do you agree? <laughs> or not? <laughs> yes, I yeah. absolutely agree. And I think otherwise, like you said, they would have said, no, they're not competing. And yeah. That's the end. And not like, oh, for now, or we still don't know, or something like that. So I think they are searching for a new element this year, and whether it's something with Australia or a new country, but I think there will be some surprises next year. Yeah, well, like with Australia, there was no confirmation at all, or no hints given until the news was broken on the actual day. And like the EBU were so hush-hush about it. So Serbia and China, there's every possibility that they could come and especially with the wording of those tweets that there's nothing definitive saying no way definitely not never ever so anything can happen <laughs> yeah but they can't even say that that never because like if Kosovo comes to the contest and they tweet like oh they will never come back someone someone will, will pull up those tweet and say like oh my god give you back in 2015 you said this so they can't say that and also they're pleasing like post audiences, the one who said that, oh, China can't take part in your reason, and also those who said that China should come in. Saying that right now they are not coming in is good for those who don't want China in, and also for those who believe that China will come back some year. So I think they just want to please everyone at the moment. And yeah, I, I also believe that maybe one day both of those will come to you. To me, the confirmation that this is in the works is our video interview with the head of delegation from China <laughs> saying explicitly we have been in talks with the EBU. And people are like, where y'all getting this? This ain't gonna happen. Watch the video. She <laughs> says it herself. <laughs> in any event, that's what we think. What do you think? Let us know here on Wee Blogs or on our YouTube channel, Twitter account, Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr. What else are we on? Everything. Snapchat. <laughs> Just type that shit in, it'll pop up. Thanks so much. Bye. 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 <laughs>